Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays everyone. I hope you're having a great Christmas season with the family, spending time eating good food, just relaxing, having a great old time. And I hope you're not thinking too much about the apocalypse or a nuclear disaster. But if you are, you tune into the right place. Let's dive into the Mira Safety CM8M gas mask. Okay, people, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., Santa's coming to town. Santa! Oh, my God! We are not strangers to Mirror Safety here on the channel. In fact, I've been running their CM7M for quite some time now. This is the CM7M right here. This is the first one I picked up a long time ago. And then I got the 6M right here and now there's an 8M out. In fact, I have a brand new one in the box to show you as well. This filter is actually a little older. I've been testing it for a while. I've been trying to keep it kind of dry and stored well in a Ziploc bag. And we'll talk about a lot of the filters and you might learn a lot about more what each one covers for protection, including the mask, some of the pros and cons on each of these designs. But this one here is the brand new one we're gonna be talking the most about today because it mixes both the best features of these two into one design. Now, our mirror safety has been around for a very long time now, and it's used by a variety of police and military units around the world. And even better than that, it's one of the more cost-effective and easiest to get from a U.S. civilian standpoint. And it's something where it's not just maybe a nuclear disaster, but they have filters for smoke, they have filters for viral protection, things like that. I mean, yes, there's always a threat of radiation, but some of these filters cover that as well. Now, you might have noticed this actually does fog up a little bit, and that's because this filter is the original filter from this mask that I've had for a couple of years now, and I did a full review on this mask. I'll drop it up here. So if you haven't seen that video on the 7M right here, be sure to check it out because it is a great gas mask and it has some pros that even like the 6M doesn't have. And of course this one kind of combines them both as the new kid on the block. But this is a little bit older filter and we'll talk about how you can store these better if you do open them or want to use them. I opened this one for testing. And the problem is if it gets old, it gets harder to breathe, it's obviously gonna be less effective. And not only that, for you bearded men out there, I'm sorry, by the way, if something happens where you need this and you are evacuating and you need to bring this with you, you're gonna wanna buzz this down as best you can because the thicker your beard, this is kinda like going scuba diving or something, this is not gonna seal up well. If it doesn't seal up well, air gets in and trapped and hot air will just fill this up and that's not what you want. If you suction this to your face, you're gonna have a nice seal and then you can allow the air to circulate and cool down the mask, cool your face down and have that no fog look to the lens here. Now this has been around for a couple years now but they just started shipping. Everything you see below here, I'll drop links down below for you to look at. Uh, this is definitely the more expensive option right here. Your best cost effective solution would be this one right here and then followed by this one. But this again has the kind of the best mix of both of these. Now, because they just started shipping, uh, I don't know if they're gonna be on sale or anything like that, but if they are on sale, you can check the link below and you'll be able to kind of see where they are with price point. I think they actually just got more in stock. They sell out fast. I've been waiting to get one of these for a while now. Now, the cool part about this one right here is it took a minute to come out because this has a piece of plexiglass essentially it's a hard plastic material that goes over the front and then everything is sealed up all the edges are sealed and nothing can get through this obviously it's a gas mask and nothing can get through it so what took a while is to develop that kind of shield plastic material so that it doesn't have scratch resistant fog resistant nice and clear and does not distort because if you curve a piece of uh, plastic or glass or whatever it is, right? If you curve it, you're gonna have a distortion and this eliminates that distortion when you're looking through it, which is fantastic. These are flat lenses and this is a large lens right here. So this is gonna have no distortion as well, but it's much larger. So it's gonna be hard to work with a smaller piece like this and the way it's cut like this as well. But the design is really, really well done, I think. And if you haven't seen my drinking video, but these actually have a way to drink water. Again, I did a full video on how to drink water. You essentially go grab the bottle that comes with your mask and you plug it in to the water bottle. You can go and flip the valve to open. It's kind of like a pipe valve where close is when it's a T-shape open is when it's along with the valve. And then there's a piece you can bite and grab inside here that allows you to drink water. And again, I did a full video on that up there. 
So I've had this in for a couple of months now, I've actually been testing it. And I'll show you real quick. Essentially, let's say you're in an, a pinch here, you're in an emergency, you're evacuating, you need to go through someplace where there's gonna be maybe gas, maybe radioactive particles in the air, or maybe you're going through a real thick virus, viral area that you need to avoid. Pull this down. Again, shave that beard if you can, because that is gonna be a crucial part here. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six, and just yank these nice and tight until you feel that suction where if you breathe in, it will like move in. Of course, with the beard, it's not gonna do as well. And then you can take, if you have a canister already open, you can peel off the pieces here. Let me show you real quick. So you have this right here. This is the particle max we'll talk about. I'm gonna pop this open for you right here. Get that nice, satisfying release. Rip it open. You have a twist knob right here. As soon as you untwist this, it's gonna pop out a little bit. You have a rip valve right here, rip that off. You have a 40 millimeter NATO right here, this receiver for 40 millimeter. So you can actually go and find some other potential canisters if you want to. Ooh, it smells minty fresh. No, it doesn't. <laughs> and there you go, and start breathing, all right? And if you do one more over here, I'm telling you right now, if you can and get these in six packs right here, then get two of them because you're going to eliminate any sort of fog and it's just easier to breathe. It really is. And also, if you get that to actually suction, once again, look. No fog, but if you go back here, a little bit of fog up here, I'm telling you. It's all about that beard. So something you never hear people talk about, but that is really important. Now they all have the 40 millimeter sections here open on the left side for me, but you can go and pop this other side over here, just twist it out, pop it out, and you can get two. Let's talk about the filters and then we'll talk about what you get when you open one of these out of the box. So this right here is actually a particle max. I would recommend get a couple cases of these in particular, and I'll tell you why. So these, they go into detail, like scientific, particle level chemistry. I wasn't very good at chemistry in high school. So <laughs> this, this goes into detail on these 20 year shelf life. Everything on the table is pretty much a 20 year shelf life unopened. But this goes into detail on what it covers on the website if you wanna check that out. And they come with pamphlets as well to kind of give you an idea on what this is gonna protect you against. But this is essentially most of what you would need protection from including radioactivity and virus particles smoke, things like that. Now what it does not protect from everything I've seen, and the big one here is gas. So if there's a fire and you're running through it and there's some kind of gas in the air, uh, there's some kind of like gas like that actually is being fired off, like tear gas, something like that. Any kind of gases aren't protected by this. For that, you will want to get this right here. This is again, an older one because I already have it open for a while, but it's the kind of the OG mirror safety filter looks like this right here. It is the NBC 77 SOF special combined filter. This is the catch all. This will cover gases as well. Occasionally, and these are one offs, there's no multi packs. These are probably more expensive, but it covers gases, right? So you want to pop one of these open. They occasionally will have some of these like the DOT ones here that are, uh, I'm assuming some kind of military surplus overrun that they pick up. There's a bunch of other ones out there that these you can pick up. And sometimes they come in stock, sometimes they don't. I've seen a few different variants of these in particular. Um, these are like older, you know, they're made for mirror safety, but look, they're not mirror safety branded. I mean, these are like older military mil spec, probably like Czechoslovakia, what is it, Slovenia, I think? Yeah, I think it was like Slovenia. Yeah, so Russia, Slovenia, I don't know. Not a lot of English on these boxes. <laughs> so sometimes you get these, but these are cheap. All right, and these are, again, these cover a bunch of stuff as well. It's on the canister, and you can read up on these as well. But if you really want to have something that protects everything, including the gas, you're going to want to get some of these multiple, or I get like 10 of them. You know what I mean? I mean, it's going to cost a little bit extra, but again, this is part of the safety. If you're evacuating somewhere and you need to run one of these and slap these on, you, your wife, your kids, whatever it is, slap them on, get out. 
And something that a lot of folks don't talk about, and I, I know the guys at Mirror Safety, and what's kind of cool is we've been to several range events before. I've shot their stuff quite a bit, uh, shot wearing their stuff quite a bit. And we've talked about what are these cover? What have you seen in testing? And they can only test so much in real world scenarios, right? So for example, when you pop one of these open, you know, some people say, oh, you know, I only got eight hours or whatever it is, right? But it's not an oxygen tank. You can't really tell like, oh, you're out of oxygen from a scuba tank, right? Now these, once you pop these open, yes, there's a expected expiration date on here. But once this is out there, it really depends on how contaminated the air is. Is it raining? Is it smoky? Like it really depends on what's going through this filter. Uh, are you breathing really hard? Are you know, to exercise, like running through the forest, whatever it is, that's going to tell you what it's going to do. And I'm telling you now, this one being older now, I can tell you it's so much harder to breathe through than this one ever would be. Or if there was a new one, right? So the older ones take a little bit longer to breathe through, a little bit more of a struggle. And you're going to want to eventually throw it away because you're going to probably tell that it is not functioning right you're gonna smell smoke or something like that right now in a real world scenario that is what I've been told is essentially we can't really tell exactly when these expire but just know once you open these they are on a timeline and they will expire so basically pop one of these open when you need to get through wherever you are and if you start feeling anything at all where this isn't functioning as it should switch it out and on to the next one right so you want to carry multiple of these it's not something where you want to use the same one long term now if you want to pop one of these open and what you know i could have done a while ago i just didn't just for testing this one but i probably will for this one these are actually just sealed up vacuum sealed right put it in a, a ziploc bag suck the air out put it in if you have one of the vacuum sealers like i actually do have one of those for food and things like that seal this back up with all the covers and that's going to extend that shelf life it might not get to 20 years now that you busted it open but it's going to give it give you some more time so if you want to mess around with these like one day at the range or something and pop them in for a couple hours just kind of get a feel for how it breathes how you feel when you're running with these how you feel when you're running your rifle or your handgun whatever it is you know you can always reseal these vacuum sealed now before we talk about some of the more pros and cons here, I do have a brand new one. Mirror Safety sent me this out, so thank you guys. I'll get you an idea what you get when you get one of these. This is it. You get a box, right? with the mirror safety CM8M on here. What's included contents? You get one canteen and one mirror safety CM8M protective mask. All right, so this is great. You can go get multiple of these. Comes in a nice packaging, full face respirator. Does not come with the filters, so be sure to pick up which ones you'd want. But this is essentially it. Comes stacked up, canteen. Instructions, learn about it bagged up it is sealed with plenty of padding as you can see very very cool and that is this one right here so let me show you real quick why i chose this one over these now if i didn't have to choose one it's going to come down to vision because <laughs> they all are very comfortable this is a size two by the way this is a medium size two for this one this is that 7m right here let me show you something so this has been cleared as my new zastava I'm so excited about it, it's so cool. Battle worn finish. So this one right here is really cool because you can get down and use your optic, your iron sights, whatever it is. That is the claim to fame for this guy right here. Very comfortable. This one has a five point tightening ability there for adjustments. This right here, actually have my little drinking straw here. I've been using that to test for drinking. This is more comfortable by far just because this one, I'll bite the little cord there. This one, better view, right? Very cool, better view. Problem, so when you go to get a rifle, you can't really get down low enough unless you really cock your head and look down this way. See how much more you have to like strain your neck? And that's not gonna be good for quick reaction or comfort, all right? So this one's more like handguns, you know, maybe higher optics, things like that. Talked about all that in my old review from a couple years ago, if you haven't checked that out, once again. Then enters this guy right here, the 8M. Honestly, I didn't even think about this. Lighter, for sure. Yeah, oh yeah. A little lighter, especially compared to this one. 
Eh, about the same to this one. I like design, it's more modern overall anyways, right? I mean, this is kind of old school. You think about like Russian or <laughs> you think dating back with the little eye goggle look there for maybe World War I or something. And yeah, more modern, like Contagion kind of movie style ones, right? This guy, again, get right in there. Nice little cheek weld. Oh, so nice. And that's why this is so popular because it has that ability now. I know what you're asking. Well, if you put a filter here, well, if you put a filter right here, all right, you can imagine you're not gonna get a very good cheek weld. See, if you wanna run a rifle, left side. Because there's no way with a filter, you're not gonna just stop right there and not even get anywhere near the sights, all right? So that's something to note. I really like them. I think mirror safety really kind of hit it out of the park with especially this one right here. I mean, honestly, these are great too. If you want to save some money, just go and get a few of these. These are going to work fine. Like I said, they have some issues with lining up optics or lining up with your iron sights, especially like an AK or something like that. Got to be back into my festive mood here. Christmas spirit engaged. So I think they're all very comfortable. I think you can wear them for long periods of time, provided things like we talked about with the filter swaps, with trimming the beard as low as you can to get that proper suction in place because you really want to make sure this is all sealed and it's nice and soft. So it's a great, great, nice rubber, lightweight material. And I think they really hit it out of the park with combining all the best of both of these with this guy right here, the 8M. If you have any questions at all, hit them down in the comments below. And again, of course, I'll have all the links for everything down below as well if you're interested in picking these up or looking into it. All these are in stock right now, which is rare because these were out of stock for months. Pretty sure I was looking for them and I was pinging my guys over at Mirror and I was like, hey guys, like when are we going to get these in stock again? Because I really want to get another 8M in, uh, not just review, but to have, you know, me, the wife, you know, some friends if you need to, and then stock up on some of these filters, especially if you do see a sale come through. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. Take care of each other, be safe at the range, and we'll see you in the next review.